Hello, Frogs. Miss Freeman here. I'm excited to start our new unit. We're going to be focusing on Black History Month. We'll be looking at three local African American artists. We're going to learn about them and then create some mini artwork inspired by their work. I'm going to ask that you save your artwork each each week. Because on the fourth week of February, we are going to turn our mini artwork into a mini gallery and then we're going to share them with each other. <clears throat> this week for your assignment, you will need a piece of paper, something to draw with. You can use a pencil. I use a marker so you can see my lines. Something to color with. I've chosen markers for this project, but crowns or color pencils or paint would be just fine. And a pair of scissors. Two of the three mini works of art are going to be on paper. So we're going to fold our paper today into smaller squares. It's going to end up giving us four. So you have two backups in case you want to start a project over because you don't love the way it's going. And then you will need two of them, one this week, one next week. The third project is going to be a sculpture. You will need a piece of foil to make that. So let me repeat that. Week three, you will need a piece of foil to make our sculpture. You could also use Play-Doh if you would prefer. Grab your paper at the top. My paper is turned portrait style or tall like a building. I'm going to bring the top down to the bottom. Smooth out the edges. So now my paper's been folded in half. And I'm going to fold it in half again. So I'm going to grab my right side and I'm going to bring it over to the left side. Now I'm going to open my paper up, grab my scissors, and cut along the fold. I only need one piece of paper for today. The other three I'm going to set aside to save for next week. I'm going to turn my paper landscape, so long ways. And I'm going to start by drawing a frame or a border around my picture. So my artwork will look framed when I'm finished with it. Straight line across the top, which is a little space at both ends. Come down, leave a little space across the bottom, leave a little space, and connect these two ends. So I basically drew a square or a rectangle inside of my rectangular piece of paper. Now for this assignment, you will need to go to the watch the video about Marvin Finn. He is our artist for this week. inspired by his, Marvin Finn's chickens that we can be seen down at the waterfront. We're going to start our chicken with a square head. We're going to add its next neck feathers with triangles. Three right across the bottom corner there. The beak is also going to be triangles. We're going to angle one up and one down, and they're a little bit smaller than our neck feathers. Our chicken's going to have a mohawk, so I'm going to start at the top of the square here and bump along to the side. And then I'm going to add an eyeball. And if you don't like the style of my eyeball, you can change yours up, make your eye look however you'd like. So it could be a winking eye, it could have eyelashes, an eyelid, however you want to do it. You can also add a tongue here if you want to inside the beak. I'm going to move to the body. I'm going to come to right to the top of this first feather I drew. And I'm going to come straight out. The body's going to be a half circle. I'm going to touch the end here. Curve around. And then inside I'm going to draw 
the wing feather the same shape but smaller. Gonna move down to the bottom and at his feet. So one line, two line, and then use a zigzag line to connect to them. One line, two line, and zigzag. <clears throat> and the last thing we need for our bird is tail feathers. So I'm gonna come back to this back corner of my half circle and I'm gonna curve up, stop, curve back down. It's gonna end up looking like a bunch of bananas grouped together there. You can have as many tail feathers as you'd like. So now I'm gonna add the details. Marvin Finn had a lot of patterns in his birds. So here's where I'm gonna add patterns. I don't have to do it to the whole bird. I can just pick the different parts that I wanna add them to. I can also make my frame fancy at this point. So I can add shapes to make it look more interesting. Maybe they're jewels or swirlies. Once I have all the details that I want in my frame and on my chicken, I'm going to color it. So here is my chicken all colored, ready for my mini gallery. So I'm going to stick this in a safe place with those other white papers. So I chose to put mine with my white papers in a paper clip and it's sitting here on my desk because no one else really bothers this space. But if I have younger siblings or someone that might move my stuff, it might be a good idea if I stuck it in a folder or a backpack, if that's something that I keep my school stuff in, or put it on the fridge with a magnet to keep it safe, or hide it in the bottom of my sock drawer, just to make some suggestions. Once you get finished with the Marvin Finn chicken, take a picture and post it on under the classwork assignment so that I can give you points for this week.